welcome back to another vlog. Woo! Juno and I are sitting here on the couch. Um, I have nothing to do right now, but it's Friday. Happy Friday. Um, I'm actually about to get up and go ahead and make this DIY table thing that I have a vision of in my head. Um, don't ask. I don't know. It exists in my head, so I'm going to try to execute the vision. I went and bought some marble yesterday from Floor and Decor, so I'm going to try to wait, make an um, entryway table. Say hi. Uh, I put on a cute little dress and I did my hair a little differently because it's getting oily, so it's time to like try to switch it up. So I um, did one of those little flip up ponytails, if that makes sense. I don't know. It came out cute. Um, but I'm going to wear it in beach waves on Sunday when I go out. So uh, I try not to put too much product on it. I didn't put any product on the hair. I just did my edges though. But yeah, we're about to make that DIY table. Like I said, it's Friday. Tomorrow I don't have plans. Sunday I'm supposed to go to the aquarium or something else. Um some activity i don't know um but tomorrow i don't have plans today all i have to do is make this table but i'm feeling so, very much sephora very like we need to go to sephora today um so maybe sephora i could get some more brow gel and then i do need some more nars creamy radiant concealer in the shade caramel but yeah i guess that's it i actually need to eat i still haven't eaten so let's go do that i'm gonna make some avocado toast hash brown and bacon even though it's one o'clock don't judge i do a horrible job at just making sure i've eaten for the day um so i want to make sure i do that before i have the nerve to step out of here if that's even what i'm gonna do um oh what did i do uh like i said i went to floor and decor to get those pieces that was yesterday and i also went to the grocery store from floor and decor i put the stone pieces over there or marble whatever they are um, but I've been spamming a lot today and everybody was asking me, well, a lot of people were asking me for like a grocery haul. So let's do it. Cause I just got back from the store. I didn't really get a lot, but I spent a lot and I'm still trying to figure it out. But like I said a million other times, buying groceries is literally like highway robbery. It's so much money. But anyways, I got some sourdough because this is my favorite bread from Trader Joe's. But I really like this Tuscan bread also to make sandwiches and garlic bread. So I got both of them and they last forever in my fridge. But don't worry, I will eat all of these because uh, I love bread. I got some beef burrito. Of course, got to get that every time. First time having the Thai vegetable gyoza. I got two things of shredded hash brown. I got some more beef and broccoli because that'd be good. I'm going to move everything over here as I show you all. I got some plums because I personally love plums. I know a lot of young people don't, but call me old if you want. I got this fresh squeezed lemonade. I got some salami for sandwiches. If you don't eat salami, maybe you're smart. Um, but there's no nitrates or nitrites. So I got a rack of lamb. This was definitely the most expensive thing. This was $26 for this rack of lamb. Uh, but Trader Joe's has the best lamb. That's probably how I got so high in the total. I got two things of organic jasmine rice, my favorite. Um, I got some lemons, some avocados. This roasted garlic hummus is so good. Okay, it's very good. I got this uh, vegan Caesar dressing because, wait, does this have nuts? Oh no, it doesn't. I got this because I wanna make a bowl, like a kava bowl, and I needed some dressing, so not tonight. I made pasta last night, so I'm gonna eat that. But one of these nights, I'm gonna make like a kava bowl and I needed this. Or a chicken Caesar salad. Uh, <laughs> um, I got some spicy honey, which is also like expensive. This is like five or six dollars. Honey in general is pricey. Uh, I got some garlic, some onion, some 21 seasoning salute. Y'all know I can't go without that. I got some minced garlic this time because last night I was like, oh, I could have used that for my garlic butter. Uh, I got this gyoza dipping sauce. Hopefully that's good. I got one more thing of roasted garlic marinara because I used one last night. So I was like, I should replace it. I got some frozen Brussels sprouts. These are so good roasted, y'all. Of course, I got some more mini peppers. And then I got the vanilla almond granola because this to me just tastes like a bag of cookies. Like, it's so good. I don't know. It's so good. I just sit there and eat it. I don't even eat it with fruit or yogurt. I literally just eat it out of the bag as a snack because it's so good. But I'll show y'all what I got from Wegmans also. Because I also went to Wegmans because... Sometimes you gotta go to more than just TJ's. If you know, you know. I got some red potatoes. They have really good red potatoes. I only have one bag from Wegmans. Uh, I got some raspberry lemonade and some regular lemonade back there. I only have one bag from Wegmans. This small Target reusable bag and the total was $60. Like I said, highway robbery. Um, I got some bacon, 
which was eight dollars. Don't ask. Um, I got some more Dea mozzarella because I love this cheese. It's so good, and I always go through it. Don't make fun of me, but I got some ketchup, and I am a ketchup hater, like a self-proclaimed ketchup hater. I slandered ketchup all day long, all up and down through the timeline. But y'all, when I went to Michigan, I had some fries with some ketchup. I was like, let me just taste ketchup. Why is it good? Guess all I had about them. Um, I got some onions because Trader Joe's, sometimes they wax for their produce. Um, I got the best vegan parmesan ever. This BioLife vegan parmesan is so good. I'm about to put this on my pasta. And then I got two bags of fries because I can't go to the store without getting fries. Because I'm just a fiend. Like, I'm a potato fiend. Like, that's my favorite food. Um, that's it. And that was uh, $180. So... I'm gonna shut up, put all this stuff away, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow when I actually start vlogging. I also finished the closet, so I'm gonna take you all to see that. But the vision for the table is just to make something very slim and low profile to go against this wall that I'm looking at. Something that's not gonna make like too big of a statement, but like say I'm there, but also not look like it's there, if that makes any sense. I'll explain and you guys will understand soon, but let's go to the closet. So I can show you uh, exactly what I did in here because I'm pretty much finished with it. Also need to do some laundry today, so we'll get to that. But um, I'm pretty much finished in here. I'm gonna shut this door so I can't see at the window. But I'm pretty much done. Um, I put those floating shelves over there. Those are from Ikea because I didn't have enough room for shoes, so I had to put them up there. I have this entire shelf to grow into, so that's nice. You all know that I have uh, clothes hanging here. And then I... Um, have a three drawer dresser unit there you know staring at me and then over here i have some bags and then these two racks are actually empty so i can grow into them and then i have a laundry hamper that i picked up from home goods the other day from the clearance section but i don't know if i like it so i might take it back and then i have clothes in that one that i actually need to go ahead and wash and then the door is there i put this three cube storage unit from ikea over here and then i ended up putting the wardrobes together because it just looked better this was too tall to go in the middle. It looked very silly. So I put those two together. Hi. Um, so then I built this over here in the corner. I put some bags up there. And then Juno's picture is there. That's the only place that I could find for it to go. And then I have some holes in the wall that I need to patch up because I took the wire rack out. And then here I have some perfumes down here. Um, I bought that little rack shelf thing from um, Home Goods. And then I have my three cubes in there. Um, sweats in here over there organized i left the shoes as is i put some heels and then my one pair of sandals right here the rest of the sandals are up over there and then over here i put the target not the one shoe sticking out i put the target um shoe racks over there and then they didn't stretch all the way over here so i had to um put those two shoes and then yeah this is this is pretty much it that's juno this is like a full overview of the closet. Like I said, we're working with a lot less space than this, I mean, than the old apartment, but I made it work and I'm happy that I made it work. It's nice and organized and clean and I can walk through here, like I said, so I'm grateful. But let's take this, cause I also need to do some laundry. Are you coming? Are you coming to do laundry? All right, well, I changed a little bit of stuff in the bathroom. Not a lot, just a little. Uh, over here, I ended up adding this Casa Luna spray did i show y'all that i don't even remember and then i added that diffuser from the kitchen because i think it looks better but that's pretty much it and i think i showed y'all yeah i think i definitely showed y'all the two baskets so let me just relax um so let's go ahead and put some hash brown in the oven make some bacon some avocado toast while we do this laundry and then we can make this table soon and then this is a laundry closet over here nobody knows but if anybody cares it's this closet right over here it's pretty the washer and dryer are like huge so i'm very happy about that but they are stacked this time so let's go ahead and wash and i also got some new bar stools for the kitchen i'll go ahead and show you all these are them they're from amazon they are linked in my storefront they're very sleek and clean and very minimal you can't really see them which is why i wanted them um because my old ones kind of i don't know they they did too much um uh, these are them so i'm very happy with them and i like how from this side of the island you can't see any bar stools 
so they're like super sleek and minimal and clean and then i'm gonna go ahead and put that entryway table over here i have some recycling over there to take out but the entryway table will go right here like i said i want it to be very like minimal because i want to still be able to walk through this space right here so um i don't want it to stick out from the wall too far i don't want it to be too big so i think i found the perfect minimal solution for this space i'm gonna get started and show you guys I'm kind of all over the place right now, but I just wanted to show you guys my dress. It's like the perfect loungewear dress. Like, I wore this out one time, but to just be in the house with it on is different. Like, it feels so good. Um, but we have so many more people here than the last time I wore this dress, so I figured I'd do another feature on it. It is from Amazon. I will link it here. Um, but it is also linked in my storefront currently. And it's like $35, $40. Like, you gotta get the dress. I'll be, I'll be screaming at y'all to get this dress because I'm so for real. Get this dress. Um, but yeah, it's perfect to wear around the house and do your little house stuff in, your little laundry, whatever you want to do. But anyways, let me stop getting so distracted. Let's go eat some food. Still haven't even made the food. Let's go eat some food. And then while, as soon as I put this food in the oven, I actually got a couple dishes, a couple pots and pans in the sink to wash. So we need to do that too. And then throw the clothes in the washer. And then we can start the DIY table after we eat so let's go ahead and try to get my life together really quickly oh and then also there's some packages downstairs for me because i went crazy on amazon and ordered a couple things that's not going crazy um but i ordered a couple things on amazon and then i also need to put the plant i'm literally talking about a minute right now i need to put the plant on something because juno keeps taking the moss out the plant and i keep getting with him about it but he's not learning so i need to put the plant on like a stool or a stand or something but yeah, okay, let's start, let's start. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna make these hash brown because I don't feel like monitoring potatoes on the stove top. So I'm gonna whip these open, put them on a cookie sheet, make them, pop some bacon in the oven, and then put some um, put some toast on the stove top, spread some avocado on it, and then we'll munch on that. I'm gonna make two of these. And then y'all, oh my gosh, so that seasoned dressing that I showed you guys from Trader Joe's, it's so good that's my first time buying it i literally just tried it on my finger last night it's good it's good but i gotta go to the store and get some lettuce because i don't like buying lettuce if you're not gonna eat it right, right away like i don't want it to just sit in my fridge so i'm like i'll go back to the store when i want to eat like a caesar salad or whatever i want the lettuce for because i hate when it just sits in your fridge but who knew that i would want it today so <laughs> I have to go back to the store so I can get some lettuce for a Caesar salad later tonight. Caesar salad with some more pasta because I made some pasta the other night and I still got a little bit left. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. Alright, these are going in the oven. And then since those are in, we can go ahead and do these little dishes real quick. don't like to wash my pots and pans in the dishwasher but when i get lazy i put them in there with the rest of the dirt dishes but when it gets full i have to take them out and hand wash them so i just went and hand wash them i don't have like a laundry closet in this apartment instead i have a laundry cabinet so i'm just grabbing stuff out of the laundry cabinet to go ahead and wash with um uh, what else do i need can you move back please I need some of these one day i might organize this aesthetically i probably won't because i really don't care that much um, but I definitely need to still organize this. I'm like, ooh, ooh. okay, it looks terrible. It literally looks awful. Um, but I got all those jars and I still haven't organized this. So maybe I'll do that today or tomorrow too. So we have nothing else to do, but let's go ahead and throw this laundry in. And yeah.
Jesus. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my recycling and these two bar stools to the trash because like I said, I have some new ones. Uh, so let's get this out the door. All right, I successfully took the recycling, tossed the bar stools. I have to vacuum in a second or after I eat, probably I'll vacuum. I really want a robot vacuum because I'm so tired of vacuuming every single day. Dark wood shows every speckle of dust, dirt, whatever. Like you can see everything. And I vacuum every single day, sometimes twice a day. So I'm thinking about getting a robot vacuum so I can just go around and pick up the little dust pieces and particles and things because that'll make my life easier. Um, but I also have to get a spin mop. I didn't have a mop in my last apartment. I just used a Swiffer. But I don't know how the dark floors will take to the Swiffer, so I probably need to get a spin mop. Um, but anyways, I like I said, I took the stuff and then I also put the bacon in the oven. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Amazon and like I guess over the last few days I picked up a new Stanley cup I got the like white color it's really cute don't ask me why I needed it I just needed it because I'm about to go back to work soon I need one for work and one for home and then I also got these new Asics I already tossed the box um, they are extremely comfy and uh, so freaking cute they are so adorable um, so those are nice um, and then from Amazon, I got like three or four things, I think. Um, so I'm gonna open up the first thing. I don't know what's in this package. Me waving a knife around. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so I got a suction foam mount for the mirror in the bathroom for when I'm doing Get Ready With Me's on live or just filming in general. The camera can be hooked up to this and the um, my phone can be hooked up to this. And it also has a light, it came with a light. I'll link everything in my storefront, but these are all the dips and bops to it. This is the suction thing that goes on the mirror, and I can also use this in a car if I wanted to. And then this part is the light that comes with it. Um, it needs batteries. Do I have batteries? I don't even know if I got batteries. How do you open this? I don't want to break my nail, but I have to figure out how to open this. This is the light piece. This is the phone piece. This is the camera piece and then we hook them up all some type of way. I'll show y'all when it's finished. And then I also got another dress. <laughs> uh, that's what's in this box. That's so random that they're together. I saw this girl have this, had this dress on. So I ordered it. It's like the Skims material dupe. This one's short sleeve and it's blue. Oh my God, it's so long. Y'all, this dress is long. Um, so I'll have to scrunch it up, but I think I'm gonna wear this on Sunday to the aquarium. Let's give an aquarium. This is the color of it up close. It's like that stretchy material. I will try it on um, either today or just on Sunday in general. This is gorgeous, like stunning. Um, so I'll have to get another one of those. Then, let's see what this is. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's one of two things. I got a light over there for the plant so the plant can light up from the bottom, if you know what I'm talking about. Like a spotlight, pretty much. This is it. Oop. This is the thing you stick the plant in and then this is the actual light. Just because I don't have a lamp in here and sometimes I'll be like, it's kind of dark and I don't want to turn on like overhead lights. Um, so I'll let y'all know how this looks tonight. You just put it at the, the base of the plant and then it lights up, it illuminates, whatever. So I'm excited about that. And then I wanted to turn my mirror in the bathroom into one of those LED mirrors. So I got this like strip of light. And hopefully this works for me. Um, we'll see. I also will put this up today to see if it works. But I definitely want to build my table first. This is just like a long strip of light. It's not the like the dot light. It's just like a strip of lights. Because I don't like the way those dots look when you turn them off. If you know what I mean. Um, so this is just a long strip of LED lights. They were fairly inexpensive. So when you turn a light off, this will look crazy. Whereas those little, you know, the little tiny light bulbs that be in the little LED lights, I don't like how that looks during the daytime. So that's pretty much everything. I think that's everything I got like over the last few days other than groceries. Picked up a new uh, sheet set from Home Goods. I'll put this on TikTok, but I put 
not the boss bowl i picked up the bowl for five dollars from home good yeah five dollars and then i had leftover moss so i just put it in here for when i'm in between fresh flowers but i do have fresh flowers right now um i'll show you guys those too i have some lilies right now and they are so pretty like i'm obsessed with them that's how the moss in the bowl looks i just have it here for right now but i actually need to move it because the flowers go here right now yeah i just got the moss for when i don't have flowers for when they die but it looks like it's time to start assembling my little avocado toast so let's eat and then let's start all my little projects so these are the pieces that i'm going to be using for the entryway table that's going to go against this wall right here it's going to be pretty tall because the marble slabs are pretty tall but i'm not mad because this mirror is pretty high up due to the thermostat thing being right there so these are going to be the legs i'm going to shift them in a way that makes like a t shape so that's going to be one leg and then i'm gonna do the other one like that i don't know if anybody knows what i'm talking about right now <laughs> so i'll just have to show y'all and then this is going to be the top piece like i said i don't want it to be too wide i want it to be narrow and make a statement but also look like nothing's there because i want to still be able to walk through this way very easily and i don't want it to take up a lot of floor space or wall space or whatever i want it to be very sleek clean and minimal so these are the pieces but the washer stops so i actually have to put the clothes into the dryer and then wash my white so let's do that first all right so i'm ready to start i have this gorilla um heavy duty construction adhesive it's the same thing it's the same thing i used <laughs> when i made my uh, travertine side table so this should work just fine it's all purpose and all surface and uh if you want to make this like i said i got the pieces from floor and decor these pieces i don't remember how like juno oh my goodness i don't remember the measurements let's see if it's on the sticker hold on um it is not yeah it is four by 36 these are four by 36 and the top piece is six by 36 so what i'm gonna do is make a t-shape out of the legs like i told you all and i'm gonna make sure i stick the one piece of marble to the other piece of marble that has a flat side not the glossy side uh the glossy side i'm afraid that the glue won't stick so make sure you do it on the flat side not the glossy side if you do this if you know what i mean but i definitely will show you what i mean in just a second so let me go get all my pieces and then we can start i just vacuum and look again there's more fuzzies on the floor but anyways this is what i'm talking about by the flat side this is the flat side it has no shine no gloss it's pretty much the bare marble it's not there's no coating on top of it so i'm gonna make sure i glue on this side opposed to this side which is glossed over um and sealed you know you might want to get this toy out the way because it's in my frame baby boy um <laughs> uh so yeah make sure you glue on this side and not the glossed over side. i should not have given them that toy back Let, but let's do this using a pen to create my line that i'm gonna glue along and i'm using the other piece of marble as a guide for this because I don't have anything as long as this straight edge, so I'm using the other piece of marble. And I'm just drawing a line with the pen to mark the middle of the marble. If that makes sense. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my glue down. I'm actually gonna take this pen and just smooth some over this gap that I missed. And then I'm gonna just stick the other piece on top of here. You can see now the T shape that I'm talking about. There's glue that's um, squoze or oozed out of the sides, but don't worry. I learned that when I did my travertine table that when this dries, you can easily just peel that stuff off. So I'm not gonna touch it while it's look while it looks like that. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm just gonna go ahead and peel it off because uh, it comes off really easily. But this is gonna be one leg, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna build the other. Like I said, I'll peel that paint off. This is gonna be the back side so you're not going to see this brown part this is actually going to be the front of it uh, i deliberately did that and then this one this will be the front so i have to peel that glue off so yeah we'll do this when we get back but i want to go to sephora and target so that's what we're about to do uh, i just want to get out the house get some sunshine and by the way it's like 85 degrees now so i'm taking this long sleeve dress off I'm going to put on something else it was fun while it lasted in the house but i'm gonna take it off why are you walking on the marble? Absolutely not. Get get away. <sighs> I'm 
gonna take this dress off, put on something else. We're gonna go to Sephora and go to Target. I wanna go to Target because I just want all things Natorium. Like, they have the best everything. So I'm gonna try to find that nice cinematic, um cleansing, whatever. And then I'm gonna get whatever else they have. Uh, and then Sephora for the two things I mentioned earlier. And maybe something else. I don't know, they be having new stuff too. So I guess we'll see, but let me change and then we can head out. I'll show you guys what I end up putting on. Okay, so this is what the table looks like right now. Uh, it needs some decoration for sure. I'm happy with how tall and slim it is because like I said, I still want it to be able to walk in this space without it feeling like it's there, but like looking like it's there, if that makes sense. I think it came out looking like super unique. I haven't seen anything quite this slim and just low profile, so I figured I would make it. And it is very, very slim. Like it's very slim. Can't put too much up there, um, but I'm gonna find something to put up there. I'll put that diffuser there to see what it will look like. So, change of plans. I don't wanna go to Sephora and I don't wanna go to Target. Instead, I'm going to go to Home Goods and then get some lettuce from Wegmans so I can make my Caesar salad tonight with my pasta. Um, so I am like super happy with how this turned out, but I think what's gonna seal the deal is it being decorated correctly. I kinda wish the marble was like black, like super dark marble, but there's a lot of black going on over here and another thing i like about it is how you can't see the bar stools well i guess this is what i like about the bar stools is that you can't see them from across the island so that just makes the table a bit more of a statement instead of having bar stools like impeding your vision so all in all i really like it i ended up not even gluing the top piece on it's just sitting on there because everything's perfectly balanced there's no wiggle there's no wobble it's very sturdy like physics wise the may I, the way i made the piece it has a lot of structural integrity, so it should be completely fine. Even if you bump it, it does not move, does not budge. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving it. Plus another thing about just having a table here is just walking from here to over there. I didn't want the possibility of me like bumping it or anything. So something slim and low profile, but just like makes a statement piece. Like, I feel like that's really cute and it looks really good uh, just in here in general. So let's go to Home Goods instead. I did take my dress off, but I'm not wearing anything special. I just took my shirt out of the dryer and put it on. So let's go ahead and get out of here. This is really cute and cool. It's only $3, so whether it goes on the table or not, I'm gonna get it. And then I figured that these would look pretty good because it'll give it some height to try to fill the gap between the mirror. And then I found some candlesticks for it. And then I'm gonna go with that book instead. But I'm still looking around, still trying to find some things. Also, I just ran into one of you from TikTok and I'm, I love y'all, bro. I'm trying to be quiet in these aisles, but then again, I also don't care. Oh my gosh, look, they have black too. Which one? No, I'm torn. Black or clear, y'all? I don't know. Oh, gosh. I was trying to be quiet in the aisles because it was a lot of people around me. But girl, hi, Imani. If you're watching this, I love you. Um, y'all are so kind, especially in public. Like, I really love y'all, like, down. Um, I love seeing y'all every single time. It makes my day, my week, my year, my heart smile. But y'all, I done got a picture frame from in there to also go on the little table thing so now i gotta go to walgreens and get this picture of juno printed out because i need his picture like tonight like i got it when i start something i have to finish it that's my problem y'all y'all already know this so i gotta go drive to walgreens which is like 10 minutes away so let's go and then we'll go to wegmans i made it back but i just want to show y'all what i got so i ended up going to wegmans and getting this chopped caesar salad it's like a salad that was already kind of made like it comes with stuff in it i'm just in it for the lettuce um i got some pictures for that mantle also i got juno picture printed back out again because i had nowhere well i put the big one in my closet but i want the little one on the table 
I also got a um, picture of my nephew. Well, I got two of them. I didn't know which one I wanted to use. There are different shades of black and white. I think I'm gonna go with this one, but he's eating his birthday cake at his first birthday shoot. So I might do both of those or just one. I don't know, whatever fits, cause that thing is small. Like I said, I got this table, table. I got this candle. It smells really good it was $3. Um, I got these two books, which I unwrapped in the car while I was waiting on my photo to print at Walgreens. Um, I ended up going with these ones. They're like, it has like a velvet cover, which is nice. Or like a silk cover, I don't know. So I put those on there. And then I ended up with these candle things. Put those on there. And then I, of course, got the candle sticks, wax sticks for it. And then I got a frame for Juno's picture. And that is all. It was a successful, a successful trip. Um, Home Goods never fails me, specifically that one. So I just took out some chicken um, for this Caesar salad. So I'm going to make that, make the salad, eat a side of my uh, pasta that I made the other night. And I guess that's it. This is what we are looking like, y'all. I'm going to turn one more light on real quick to see if it gets a little bit better for y'all. Um, yeah, this is what we're looking like. I put all the pieces that I bought up here. Juno's pictures there. You like it? You like it? I'm glad you like it. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. I think this is absolutely perfect. Like I said, it was just as small as I wanted. Sleek, clean, minimal. There's a lot of room left. I will not bump the corners. It looks perfect. I love how you can't see the bar stools from the island. So it just goes super well um, with this. So I'm very, very happy with it. And that candle smells so good oh my gosh so yeah now i'm about to go ahead and make this caesar salad because i took the chicken out sitting in that bowl so i'm about to do this make some croutons for it i got some vegan parmesan because i picked up a block from wegmans yesterday um, i'm very excited for that are you excited you already ate dinner and then yeah let's do it i've been thinking about absolutely all day and then my pasta i made this is the last of the pasta so i put it all on my plate but there's no way i'm gonna finish all of this but like I said, the vegan Caesar dressing is really good from Trader Joe's, so y'all should try that. But I'm about to eat, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good people, and happy Saturday. That sounded very sitcom-ish, but happy Saturday, good people. Um, What happened? Um, I woke up. I took Juno on his little walk. I did some skincare. Now I'm about to uh, put the sheets that I washed yesterday on the bed, the new ones on the bed, and throw these in the wash. Like I said, I keep multiple pair sets of sheets. I'm up to four sets now because when I wash a set, I don't have time to be waiting on it to wash and dry. Plus I have white sheets, so I like to get even wear and tear on, not tear, mm, that sounded provocative. Um, even wear and tear on all of them so they don't wear themselves out or just, you know, just look dirty and dingy because they are white and i like them to look white um after so long so i like to alternate them so i'm about to put that new set on make up the bed and i guess we'll go to sephora today since we did not get the time to go i did have time i just didn't go um sephora and target probably let me draw the blondes up a little bit more uh, i just uploaded my tiktok on my diy table which i'm very happy with um i freaking love this y'all like i am turned about this table i'm very glad that i went with what i went with um did you say good morning did you say good morning did you even say good morning you didn't even say good morning that's rude but yeah uh anyways i don't know why he's so turned up anyways let me make up this bed and uh i guess we can uh bruh what are you doing look at him oh he stopped oh, okay okay yeah
You're so funny. Say hi to the vlog, y'all. How many of you actually watch the vlog? Thank you. Hi. Hi, Lar. Me, Elo. I love that you guys watch. It's not even focused. There we go. Yay. Hey guys. All right, I'll throw that clip in. Hey y'all, so there was a little bit of a change of plans. Also, the last time I seen y'all was when I made my bed up, but I did my hair and makeup. Um, I'm actually going on a date tonight. Um, so I decided to do hair and makeup earlier in the day. So I didn't have to do it later. And then I hopped on live as I was curling my hair. And then I decided to still go to the store, of course, but then it started downpouring. So I started, I mean, I stayed on live even longer and now it stopped. So I guess we can go to the store and I'll show y'all my outfit before we go. I don't know what's happening right now. And I still have this date later. So I have to be back in time for that. But regardless, let me just show y'all my fit and then we can do something. Um, so my tank top is from Aritzia. It's the TNA rib tank top my button up is from h and my shorts are from tj maxx and my little cute bag is from aritzia i never wear it so i'm gonna wear it today but um i hope it doesn't start raining again so i'm still trying to figure it out but i want to go to sephora because one of my friends online i don't like to call y'all i don't know what to say like supporters for sure because y'all definitely give me a lot of support she just shared like a code with me for 20 percent off at sephora I love her down. Love all y'all down. That was so nice of her. Um, so I feel like I should go to Sephora and get some things with the 20% off because girl, what? <laughs> uh, and I'm still very hungry and I want a pizza, a vegan pizza. So let's just figure it out. We'll go get in the car and we'll go down there and just have a little time. But I definitely gotta be back in like two hours. By the way, it's already like five o'clock. I know the day just left us, but yeah, we'll figure it out. So let's go. If I could travel through time, I think I... Okay, y'all, I made it. I don't know what I'm getting, but I had to come because ain't no way. What this say? Okay, he's saying I got until 7.20 now. Good, because it's 5.52 because I need all the time I can get. Um, I don't even know what I'm getting, but 20% off? Girl, we finna go sniff some stuff. Test some stuff. All that. I don't even know. Uh, I'm trying to think what I wanted. I feel like there's something that I definitely wanted. But if not, I know I'm going to get another Summer Fridays lip balm because I'm out of that one. I want the sugar pink one, pink sugar one, whatever you call it. Um, hmm, I don't know. I'm so geeks going to the support. I don't know. I think if I want this pizza spot over here or if I just want to go to Chick-fil-A and then go back home after this. Because I'm being very high maintenance right now. Like I'm doing a lot. But I definitely want pizza. So I'll probably go there. Oh my God, we're here.
as you've seen, I went to Sephora. I also ate some pizza, but I'm back home and I have to rush now because it's 7.13 and I'm supposed to be getting picked up at like 7.35. <laughs> but anyways, I wanna show you what I got from Sephora. So I ended up with a giant size of the Clean Reserve Skin. I got a new NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And then I just got a brow gel. That's it. I needed, I mean, I wanted more, but I really didn't have time to just be in there. Um, as you can see, I'm rushing. So I might hop on live for like 20 minutes and then get off and then go. But yeah, um, I will be back soon. Rush, but top is Princess Polly. Bag is Kurt Geiger. Jeans are Princess Polly. Shoes are Target. And yeah, I have to blast now. I need to get my freaking tripod from the bathroom because I was just alive trying to get outfit advice. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm about to go. All right, y'all, I ended up making it, or we ended up making it. We're actually going to see Marlon Wayans in comedy, ah! uh, which is gonna be a lot better than the first comedy show we went to because he wasn't funny. But anyways, um, I'm here. I'm gonna leave the camera in the car because I don't think they're gonna let me bring it in. Like that first comedy show, they didn't even let us record. If they do let us record, I'll put my phone out and I'll um, get some clips on my phone. Maybe I'll try to sneak some too. I don't know. But more than likely, they're not going to let us. So I'm going to leave the camera in the car for sure. And I'll update you guys when I get back. very late right now um that was actually very funny and yeah uh, we went to dinner after it was very 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 fun but i'm extremely tired and i'm about to pin curl this hair and then go to bed because we're also going to the aquarium tomorrow so i'll see y'all tomorrow so good morning and happy sunday it's like 10 30 10 40 something like that i do drew it on his walkie walk he's running around right now hi why um and now I'm making breakfast because I am supposed to be leaving at between like one and two and I wanted to hop on live and do my Sunday live because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like so much more back to myself now. Like this whole weekend just reminded me of like who I used to be and it's so nice to just like, I don't know, step back into that. Like yesterday was such a good day. Um, and today I'm gonna make it the same. I'm gonna make it a good day. So I'm making some breakfast right now. I'm gonna, Oh, not my camera uh, getting unscrewed. Uh, I'm gonna make some shredded hash brown Trader Joe's. I don't have time to shred my own right now. Uh, the $8 bacon from <laughs> Wegmans, avocado toast. The same thing as usual. I'm just putting bell peppers and onions in my um, hash brown today. So, yeah, that'll be pretty much it. Uh, and then I have to choose an outfit and um, eventually I'll get out of here. I also gotta make my bed up real quick. Cause a house, it's not a home with no end. 
So I went live for a moment and then I uh, finished getting ready. Did hair, did makeup, all that good stuff. And I, on a good Sunday live, you gotta love it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then we gotta still choose shoes because I got off live without like having a permanent decision on the shoes. Cause everybody be saying different stuff. But anyways, my pink coverall, coverall, button up is from Aritzia. The tank top underneath is from Zara. The jeans are from Zara. My, and now I'm still trying to decide on shoes because I can't decide and I can't decide on bag either so let me put my camera up and we can try to choose something together even though this won't be real time these would be really cute and it would give and serve but we are going to the aquarium so I'm not trying to like walk around in sandals especially sandals with a platform but these got memory foam in them so not uncomfortable but I'm not trying to be like <laughs> platform sally in the freaking aquarium like i'm trying to wear a sneaker and everybody was saying well a lot of people were saying the new balance but then i showed the asics and then people were saying the asics and i don't gotta be matchy matchy i want to be cute and different and quirky and just fun like these are cute and i think that they match and i think that they look cute um and they bring some back to the outfit because they're very bright and then these are very neutral and just cool and i always wear them and they of course work and these are kind of the same shoe because they're like the same dad shoe style but i just really like these and they are new and i do want to wear them um but these might look better i don't know but i'll i guess let y'all know which one i choose i'm about to film some content for tiktok and take a couple pictures for my instagram story and stuff and then i'm gonna head out because i only got like 30 minutes left and i always like to leave time for content so yeah let's do that we made it i was being very chaotic and high maintenance this morning um i couldn't decide on anything but I ended up changing my shirt to this tan or sorry gray from the tan I took this bag and I'm actually wearing my leggings and my asics because why was I about to wear jeans to the aquarium hmm why was I gonna do that can somebody come to the front and answer um so yeah no why was I I was not gonna be uncomfortable so I decided to put on this little fit and it's serving to me y'all tried to chew me up in my close friends but regardless <laughs> I feel great and um yeah we're walking into the aquarium now and i'm super 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 excited because i haven't done a little fun activity like this in since before everything happened um i think the last like fun thing we did was like go to penn's landing right yeah that was like right before july 6th that was like july 4th and 5th i believe so good times more good times i'm super excited Oh, 
at the aquarium and now we're um, eating some dinner in the place. Uh, it's this soul food place and it's cute. And I'm glad I didn't wear jeans because we're actually sitting outside like under a tent right now. Um, but I'm super hungry so I'm excited. So I just got home, right? And I come in the door. I come in the bathroom because I'm about to go potty. And I see that my rug is missing from the bathroom floor. So I look up and I see that my rug is in my bedroom, right? So I'm like, why would my rug be in my bedroom, Juno? Oh my God, y'all walking here. Why is my sandal on the floor that I left in my closet that I can do with my one-year-old well-trained dog? chewed up like chewed through i mean i don't believe this y'all like i am absolutely in shock first of all target don't even sell those no more second of all i do feel bad for juno because it looks like he has separation anxiety y'all know that since the traumatic event happened i've been with him day in and day out pretty much all day every single day i've been taking him everywhere with me because he's my like emotional support animal but I went out last night and then I went out today and I came back to this so it looks like he is like stressed out and he does not think I'm going to come back or something or separation anxiety some form or something. All the animal experts come to the front. But I can't believe he did this. Juno even as a baby didn't chew stuff up. The most he's ever chewed is that wicker basket. Y'all know what I'm talking about with his toys that I always used to tell y'all that he chewed up. Other than that, that man never chewed no shoes, never chewed no clothes, never chewed no furniture, never did anything of the sort. So it's like mind-boggling at his big age that he does something like that but i guess he is under a lot of stress that i don't recognize i don't know um but i did go ahead and crate him so it's just crazy because this is not real life like real life is not me home every day um home obviously to deal with my mental thing but i gotta go back to work soon so it's like how is this gonna work here like i have to we have to do new boundaries we have to do smaller spaces like i pretty much got to start all over from scratch as if he were a puppy again um so he can know how to behave and then i have to trust him like i'll have to trust him again so it's like super unfortunate but like i also feel bad for him at the same time because like i don't want him to feel like i'm never coming back but, like dang you done chewed through my shoe that i can't even get another one of but steve madden didn't make a dupe for those so i might have to get those but anyways um I'm about to fix the rug, vacuum the living room, finish cleaning my closet out because when we were on live today, I kind of made a mess. And then I'll see y'all tonight. Uh, I'm going to eat some more dinner, like the more of the food. <laughs> I might even make a vegan mac and cheese to go with the food, but I don't know. I'll check back in with y'all. Hey y'all, so now it's actually Monday. I realized I forgot to close out this vlog, so I am back to close it out. Uh, Juno did get himself in quite a bit of trouble, but like I said... Half of it is not his fault because I believe he does have separation anxiety and it's starting to worry me. So I have to, I guess, adopt some new techniques and methods before I go back to work. But anyways, he did get out of the crate. Um, he's obviously acting normal because I've been here. And um, yeah, I'll give him what he needs. But I am here to close out the vlog. Like I said, it's Monday morning now. So I'm heavily editing the vlog right now. <laughs> and I'm like, because I needed to go up today. Uh, and if it doesn't, then maybe it'll go tomorrow. But I, it's like 10 a.m been up for a little bit 
editing, but you all know that this is a super long process. Editing takes forever and uploads take probably just as long, if not longer. But yeah, I love you all and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and until next time, I'll see y'all.